is it glut is it glutamic? Glu glutamic? Glutamic? What is it glutamic or glutamic? What is it? How would you say that? Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan, and what I'm going to talk about in today's video is a, is a very powerful antioxidant. It's actually coined the mother of all antioxidants. And it's actually made from a tripeptide, three amino acids, L-glutamic, L-glycine, and L-cysteine. And what I'm going to talk about is... Glutathione. Okay, glutathione is the most powerful antioxidant in the body. Now, our body makes it as well as it recycles it. Now, the main function of L, uh, glutathione is it prevents cell damage by free radicals, peroxides, lipid peroxides, and heavy metals. These are the type of things that we experience every single day in the environment, in diet, stress levels. It also slows the aging process, okay? Because as we get older, our cells naturally deplete the levels of glutathione, and taking an additional glutathione will help slow the aging process. Also, a powerful, powerful detoxifier. In addition to a detoxifier, it helps support the immune system, okay? Also, it maintains vitamin C and vitamin E in reduced and active forms. So you can see that glutathione is a powerful antioxidant, but also it's powerful for the body for normal cellular function. Okay, so how do we get depleted in, in glutathione levels? We get depleted, very simple, lifestyle. Okay, that lifestyle could be aging. Again, when, as we get older, we produce less and less glutathione levels as part of the aging process. This is one of the reasons why it takes us longer to heal as we're getting older. Also too, stress. Now we have three types of stressors, environmental stresses, uh, toxic stresses, and physical stresses. All those stressors will decrease our glutathione levels in our system because we have what's called internal inflammation. Also too, junk food. The junk food that we take in, are it's poor quality, it's loaded with polyunsaturated fatty acids, which actually cause inflammation to the body. Omega-9s, omega-6s, six, sugar. Those all cause inflammation to the body. So when the body's inflamed, it's going to naturally reduce our glutathione levels, productions naturally. So that's why junk food is very, very bad in more ways than one. Also, too, drugs. Now, this is drugs, the umbrella term for, for medications. This could be prescription medications, to your over-the-counter NSAIDs, Tylenols, to the Aleves, to the acetaminophens, all those are powerful, uh, they have a, create a powerful impact to the liver. And when you have that, okay, it reduces the levels of glutathione naturally. Also too, pollution. Pollution, this is the environmental uh, toxins that we take in. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I was downtown Chicago, walking around, seeing the lovely sights, and between the buses, the cars, the taxi cabs, I was just ingesting all this, you know, the pollution, the toxic pollution, and by the end of the day, I was just really exhausted because of my glutathione levels were being reduced. Also do chronic pain. I see a lot of patients uh, in my practice, and the one thing that I notice is that the patients who are in chronic pain, they have low levels of glutathione. Because remember, glutathione, one of the benefits, it supports the immune system. And when, you support, and when you support the immune system, in turn, it helps reduce pain. So chronic pain depletes the glutathione levels. Also, again, remember, our body makes it. But also, too, not only our body makes it from the precursors, L-glutamic, L-glycine, and L-cysteine, our body also recycles it. So when you're taking in bad food in the form of junk food, you're not getting all those healthy nutrients to recycle the glutathione levels naturally. So this is where, again, you're going to get depleted from the lifestyle. So the function, depletion, so what do you do to improve it? I always recommend, first and foremost, to improve your glutathione levels naturally is always turn to diet. You want to take in the food, good foods first, okay? This is your non-GMOs. Again, this is the organic foods if you can. And the form on how you improve the levels naturally is foods that contain sulfur, 
Now, this is your vegetables, the cruciferous vegetables, but also cabbage. This is your broccoli, this is your radishes, and your spinach. These foods will naturally boost the glutathione levels naturally. Okay, so having a healthy diet will do it. Also, first, very, very important, raw whey protein. Now, raw whey protein, very good to boost the glutathione levels because they have the highest level of precursors. Now the precursors, especially the L-cysteine, that is a powerful precursor for the glutathione. And only the raw whey protein powders have that bioavailability to produce that naturally, naturally. Also too, if you can't get your hands on any of this, I always recommend supplementation. Now what you wanna do, what I recommend is 500 milligrams of glutathione, the supplement, and you wanna take that because that's an amino acid, you wanna take all amino acids on an empty stomach for better absorption. Also, if you're going to, I always recommend taking it first thing in the morning, empty stomach, wait about a half an hour to make sure it's in your system before you put food in. Or if you're going to take it in between meals, make sure that your, body, that your stomach is empty a uh, half an hour before your next meal and take the, glutathione, the, take the glutathione then. Okay, so glutathione, very, very powerful antioxidant. It's deemed the mother of all antioxidants. As you get older, you deplete the levels naturally. Also too, when you're in chronic pain, chronic pain patients have a naturally low glutathione levels. So by boosting the glutathione levels, you're gonna put yourself in better health, okay? Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. Hello, this is Dr. Juad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching.